What's going on everyone? I'm Claudio Angaro with Hired to Hunt and Angaro's Outdoor Outfitters. Today I want to discuss hunting mallards and pintails over potholes in the prairie pothole region of Alberta where I call home. <laughs> I can tell you this, after 30 years of doing this professionally as an outfitter, I do believe it is the best duck hunting in the world. Now you can take my word for it, but I've also had clients over the last 30 years tell me this is truly some of the best shit we've ever been on. What I really love about hunting the potholes is you've got the ducks pouring in there typically before they go to feed. The biology behind it is this, and I don't know if it's social for them, I don't know if they're coming in there for some crustaceans, maybe some aquatic vegetation, not entirely sure, but I do know they smash a puddle, they gather, and then they actually roll out and hit the feed, whether it's barley, peas. The way we like to hunt them, if we're not gonna hunt them in the field, is we're gonna actually hit them on the puddle as they approach before they go to feed. So usually it happens very first thing in the morning. A lot of times you're in well before legal light, so you're sitting there chomping at the bit, waiting for these things to get in there, waiting for the sun to come up. You know, you're usually kicking ducks out of there by the hundred sometimes, and it's, it's just a lot of fun. The anticipation is, super exciting there's also something about that twilight the smells the sounds the serenity of being on a pothole when the sun's coming up and that you know the sky is clear and you can hear ducks quacking from far off it's just an absolutely incredible feeling to be in the presence of that pothole on that morning the social component of hunting in a pothole is a big part of it for me as well. Uh, you're, you're not in lay downs, which means you're not isolated and spread apart. You can either sit right on a bucket or a, or a mud seat, right in the cattails next to your buddy, or you can put up an A-frame or an upright blind and you can all sit together. And there's that social component between flights of ducks, which is really cool. The other thing that's really nice about hunting the puddles in an upright blind is the comfort. I mean, you're upright, the shooting is usually a little bit more accurate because you can come out shooting. You're not in that laid down position that we're not really designed to shoot out of. So from that perspective, it lends itself to a, an entirely different experience between the social component, the ability to jabber with your buddies. You were really worried. Very worried. I know you were worried. You're stressing me out, you're so worried. <laughs> And, and to shoot better and straighter, not to mention rib them when they miss. You missed! You missed! You missed! You missed! You missed! <laughs> One of my favorite things about hunting a pothole is ducks coming into water first thing in the morning are reckless. Nothing does it better. I mean, the mallards, they just whiffle. They got to hit the brakes hard or they're going to end up skidding and crashing right into you. Now, despite the fact that they are reckless, you still have to set up properly. And if you don't play the wind right, you're going to have a mess on your hands. Couple things before we get into the actual setup and, and how to play your cards on that morning on that particular pond is, is the decoys. I've decided to go with more decoys and smaller rather than go with fewer and bigger. The rationale for me behind that is, is I can throw 75 or 80 or 100 in the back of a truck. If I deal with bigger decoys, I can't get quite as many of them in the truck. I end up having to struggle to get them in and out of there because they're heavier. And it just makes more sense to me to have more, but smaller. You have to remember, they don't need to see them from that far because these ducks are coming there whether you're there or not. Smaller is better. Trust me on that deal. The one other thing you're gonna need when you're hunting a pothole, obviously, is some waders. You're gonna encounter some water that's gonna be waist deep or mid chest or getting close to your armpits. So what I like to use is the Cabela's Ultimate Hunting Wader. I've been using the same wader for probably 20 years and I know they're gonna keep me warm and dry when I need them the most. The one thing you'll notice I always do is I always have a belt cinched up around my waist. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when you take a step into some deep water or you, you get stuck in some mud, you tip over and you're gonna fill those waders. If you've got a belt cinched just below your rib cage but above your waist, you're gonna stop the water from filling that bottom. It'll give you enough time to get to shore, dump them out and end up salvaging an otherwise horrible situation. Obviously, before we get into actually how to set this thing up, 
we need to discuss what you're gonna shoot at these things. Typically, you know that we're shooting the heavy hammer twos, because when I'm in a field, I don't know what's gonna show up. We could end up with mallards, pintails, specks, snows, big Canada geese, and that's when I need those number two heavy hammers. But if you're going in on a pothole shoot, I like to use the heavy steel number threes. You pretty much know it's just gonna be ducks and they're gonna be in close. There's ducks doing it right behind you. Oh, that's classic. Duck trails. <laughs> now the duck trails are really cool. The ducks are gonna puddle, poof, they hit the pond. Now, if there's tall cattails or trees, they have to fly up and out to get to the feed. But if there's not, they'd rather walk, being as lazy as they are, to the feed rather than fly. Now this is a pretty good indicator of, of the part of the pond that they're feeding and the freshest sign. So you can go in there and realize very quickly what part of the feed they're on. I'd like to talk about the setup of the actual hunt right now. So when you go out there, you can really put it to them. You've got a situation where you've spotted them. You know the ducks are hitting that puddle. You know they fed there. They left that evening. All you can do is anticipate that they're gonna be there in the morning. You're probably not gonna sleep that night because the excitement runs real high and then you're always gonna wonder, uh-oh, are they gonna come back? Are they gonna hit the puddle? Or are they gonna go straight to the feed? Rest assured, they're going to the puddle. There's only one weather condition that will actually throw a total kink into that and that's a wicked cold front. If you get a bad storm come in and it's blustery and it's either raining hard or there's sleet and there's snow, those ducks are gonna want nothing to do with that puddle and go straight into the feed. So anticipate that and be ready. Otherwise, rest assured, sleep easy, and just know that those ducks will be pouring into that pothole while you're sitting there ready and waiting for them. So how are you gonna do the setup? Very simple. First thing me and the guides do when we get to the puddle is we play the wind. Now, doesn't matter which part of the puddle, just make sure the wind is at your back. Even if they fed it the other side, unless it's a real big puddle, these birds are like little airplanes, they gotta land into the wind. Find a spot where you can set up your upright blind, your lay downs, I'll leave that up to you, you're good hunters. Make sure you're well hidden and concealed. The next thing you gotta do is get your decoy rig set up. For that, you just wait out into the mud, put a pot on the left and a pot on the right. Whether you have two pods of 15, or two pods of 40 or 50 like I like to throw out. The number doesn't really matter. Make sure you've got a gap in the middle and those ducks nine times out of 10 will fall right into that hole. I like to leave that hole 10 to 30 yards wide depending on how big the flocks are coming in. Stab a couple spinners or robo ducks in the middle. Sit back, relax, and get ready to shoot a limit of mallards. Dogs absolutely love pothole shoots. They save us a lot of sweat and effort and slugging through the mud. Dogs are great. If you're interested in booking a hunt with me, visit ongaros.com for more information. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, let me know in the comments what topics you'd like to see. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one.